Hey guys, Chris from Techable, and today we're going to be talking about the M2 chip. Since 2019, Apple has been moving away from the Intel processors, and this year they took it a step further by releasing the M2 chip. So what's the latest with the M2 chip, and how does it compare to Apple's M1 chip? Well, stay tuned to find out. To give us an overview, let us start with a head-to-head -head comparison of the M1 and M2 chips now. The M2 and M1 chips have 8 CPU cores, 4 high performance cores, and 4 energy cores, which are based on the A15 and A14 Bionic chips, respectively. In terms of GPU, the M2 chip has a maximum of 10 cores, while the M1 chip has a maximum of only 8 cores. Both the M2 and M1 have a 16 core neural engine. As for the RAM, or unified memory, the M1 has the LPDDR4X based RAM that can be upgraded to 16 gigabytes, while the M2 has an LPDDR5 based RAM with a ceiling of 24 gigabytes. The M2 chip delivers up to 100 gigabytes of memory bandwidth per second, or about twice the M1's 68.25. Just looking at these numbers, we can see that the M2 chip has a clear lead. But how good does the M2 perform compared to the M1 chip? According to Apple, the M2 takes the M1's performance to another level. Based on tests, they found the M2 CPU is 18% faster compared to the M1, and the GPU is 35% more powerful. Lastly, they found that the M2's neural engine performed 40% faster than the M1's. The M2 and M1 chips are based on energy-efficient ARM architecture, which is commonly found on smartphones and other mobile devices. The M1 chip is based on Apple's A4 Bionic processor. This is a 64-bit, 6-core CPU with high-performance Firestorm cores and energy-efficient Ice Storm cores. The M2's CPU is a system on a chip, or SOC for short, that is based on the newer 64-bit A15 Bionic processor, which is also found on the iPhone 13. It has four energy-efficient Blizzard cores and four high-performance Avalanche cores. A fun fact about both these chips is that the M2 contains 20 billion transistors. That's almost 25% more than the M1's 16 billion transistors. The M2 uses a second generation 5 nanometer fabrication process that offers better performance per watt. This allows the M2 chip to perform better even when both chips have an 8 core CPU. To sum up, the M2 does beat out the M1 in terms of CPU performance. Next, let's take a look at the GPUs. One of the main differences between the M1 and the M2 is that the M2 chip is capable of being upgraded beyond 8 cores to a 10 core GPU. In terms of raw performance, the M2's GPU clocks in at 55 gigapixels per second, while the M1's caps out at 41. So what does this all mean? Well, after all is said and done, the M2's GPU is about 25% more powerful than the M1. Next, we're going to compare the neural engine between the two chips. But before we can do that, to better understand this, let's first take a look at what a neural engine is and what it does. Apple's neural engine is tasked with accelerating and optimizing machine learning while making the whole process more energy efficient. The machine learning aspect of the neural engine is used primarily for programs such as video analysis, voice recognition software, and image processing. Now, let's compare the two chips. The M1 chip gave us a very capable AI and machine learning neural engine which is capable of processing up to 11 trillion operations per second. Now taking a look at the M2 chip, we can see that this has been up to almost 15.8 trillion operations per second, or almost 40% more than the M1. Finally, let's take a look at the RAM between each chips. Here we can see some of the biggest upgrades from the M1 to the M2. The M1 uses the older DDR4-style RAM technology, while the M2 has the newer, faster DDR5-style RAM. In addition to the superior DDR5 RAM, the M2 also scores higher with 100GB of unified memory bandwidth that is significantly higher than the M1's 
The last difference between the M1 and the M2 is the M2's ability to be maxed out to 24GB of RAM, where the M1 caps out at 16GB of RAM. That's all for us today, folks. We hope you enjoyed the video and let us know if you're going to be upgrading to the M2 chip. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.